As the seasons change, the weather gets better. Hay fever, among other things, are uh, some of the allergies you want to take into account in Canadian race car driver uh, Alex Tagliani joining us. Dr. Edmund Chan, thanks for being here. And an important discussion when it comes to allergy awareness, and there is a special tour happening this summer, the, the, the Summer of Tag, and obviously named after your nickname. Tell us about uh, what is happening. Yeah, Summer of Tag, treating allergy with genuine care. Um, we have this uh, great uh, My Hero contest uh, that uh, you can find on the summeroftag.com website. Um, you know, submit uh, who is your allergy hero with uh, 250 words and less, and um, you could win an iPad, and uh, whoever uh, uh, is your hero will also win a $500 uh, certificate. So, um, I mean, promoting allergy is, is something very important to me. I mean, I have very severe allergy, and uh, I ran through my, uh, my share of issues, uh, and, um, you know, Anaphylaxis Canada is doing a great job, like you were saying before, in uh, giving tips, you know, to people with severe uh, allergy. And we're going to talk about some of the tips and the personal uh, experiences you've had. But Dr. Chan, when we look at the research, especially this week with what has come out of how Vancouver tops and your focus being with child allergies, what are we seeing and what is changing and what do we need to be made aware of? So uh, that study in particular uh, uh, is called the child study and they were looking at one component of the study uh, and the component you're focusing on uh, with the comparing the cities, it was a secondary uh, outcome. The primary outcome was uh, looking at the role of air pollution on uh, uh, development of uh, allergic disease. Uh, the Vancouver versus other city comparison, it was mainly in the inhalant uh, uh, skin test positivity uh, where Vancouver had the lead but interestingly it was uh, quite similar for food uh, skin tests uh, and uh, so we are uh, intrigued by those results and, and not quite uh, certain why those were one-year-old children um, there's a lot of other exciting research going on uh, perhaps the most exciting study in the past several months is the leap study which looked at uh, early introduction of peanut to high-risk infants and found that uh, with early and regular uh, exposure there was quite a preventative effect, 80% um, or so relative uh, uh, lower risk of uh, peanut allergy with early introduction. So lots of exciting research going on uh, locally. Uh, we're, we're doing lots of food allergy uh, research at BC Children's Hospital related to aspects of prevention, diagnosis, uh, treatment, including a cow's milk immunotherapy study uh, that we're involved in, uh, and uh, uh, studying allergic conditions uh, overall. And Prevention being the key word I'm hearing here, and Alex, I know you're a champion of this. You've had your own extreme personal experiences, and I see you carry the EpiPen with you now for being proactive about this. What is the extreme circumstance you've had, and what are some of the tips, if you're going to carry the EpiPen, of how you maintain it to make sure we're safe? Uh, well, I mean, the tips, uh, I would say that, uh, you know, I mean, the first thing that you want to remember is just like the two simple steps, you know, blue to the sky and uh, orange to the tie. Um, you know, but um, I think, you know, um, what I want to promote, you know, to, to, to people out there is I live really well with my allergies, but, you know, it's funny because we were talking last night and, um, you know, uh, Dr. Chan is one of the rare allergists that, uh, that you know, like promotes, you know, food ch uh, mouth challenge, right, to, to you know, like, to, to have a reaction, you know. I did some of those myself, but I was not in the right environment. And uh, because of it, you know, I was lucky enough in my life to, um, to, to feel them, to understand them. And then after that, you know, it doesn't really take too much to convince me to carry my EpiPen with me and to know what to do when something happened because I had those things happen to me. And uh, Dr. Chen is actually, you know, promoting that where, you know, like he, he introduced, you know, like Mount Challenge uh, in his clinic you know to to people with allergy and then um, trigger a reaction and then you know but you're actually doing it um, in a controlled environment well summertag.com is an excellent resource to find out more you've shared some very valuable tips on maintenance for the EpiPen and uh, this morning later this morning open to the general public the Van Dusen uh, Botanical Garden you two will be a part of a panel a discussion on allergy awareness it's what 10 a.m. this morning yes there, there is the board with uh, all of the details. We'll put this up on our Facebook page too. If you're interested in finding out more, this is a great educational tool uh, for families and especially with the focus on children. So gentlemen, thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you.